91X. Um, new album. Everybody's dying to hear it. I've heard like two or three tracks from this thing. They're phenomenal. When do we get the whole thing and tell me about it? Who's, who wants to talk about that? I think it comes out on in two weeks or about a week and a half on Record Store Day, which I think that's a I'm guessing it's a Monday. I'm only surmising that, but I don't know the actual date of it, but it's Record Store Day. That'll was be out. Was it fun putting this record together? Yeah, it was fun for me, definitely. It was a lot less frustration than I've had in previous records, I can say that. Just recording process, because I was much more comfortable with it, and I, it was a joy to do this time, so. Right. It was lovely. The location was amazing. It was a full-on residential studio, not like necessarily over the top, but a really beautiful, the first residential studio ever, actually, in, in, in the rock circuit. The first what, residential studio. Which one is it? It's called, uh, it's called Rockfield. It's in, in Wales. Wales, yeah. Zeppelin work. Didn't a bunch of bands like Zeppelin work in there? I don't know if Zeppelin ever worked there, but you know, lots of uh, lots of bands from that era, you know. And who produced? Gil Norton. But wow. there was a uh, we had a, we had these lovely kind of local cooking kitchen ladies, you know, that would make us meals, and we used to uh, just hang out and walk, hike the town, and go to the pubs and. Do some music later, you know, and uh, oh man, it was just like I'm. I, it's the only time I can say that I've actually been uh, like just out of the blue. I'll get like little feelings of homesickness for the for for Rockfield. I'll be like, oh, I want to go to Monmouth. I want to like, I want to go hang out there. I feel kind of homesick for you. Only time it's ever happened. Once, I mean, not every day. I just want something. Something something will hit me and I'll be like, ah, I want to go back. Rockfield. Let's go back to Wales, middle of nowhere. Um, Easier this time, songwriting process? Tougher? Uh, tougher, for sure. Tougher? Why, why tougher? You know, because it had been such a long time since we decided to do a, a full record. And so, yeah, yeah you had that juxtaposition in, in, in time, you know what I mean? So uh, it was kind of like, uh, it wasn't like we were still surfing the original wave. That wave had long broken years and years and years ago. So, you know, you had to kind of had to be uh, thoughtful about it and, and right. respectful of it, I suppose, is the is the best way to put it. Would you say, I want to go to Joy over here, would you say everybody's more present this time around than like the early days? Present. Present meaning like you're, everybody's aware of like, like you're not making dumb decisions like why are we doing this tour or what, you know, that, that kind of stuff. In other words, it's kind of like you're conscious of everything you're doing as a band now. Because when bands are young, they make millions and millions of mistakes. And they're just like, they do tours, they don't care, they're just like, I'm doing this because of whatever. And then years later, like, why did I do all that stuff? Well, um, I guess so. I mean, th there's got to be a, a great reason to go out. You know, um, uh, that, you know, um, I'm not, uh, if it's going to be fun, fun equates to uh, going to the bank. Right. <laughs> and then, uh, and also, that, that makes sense. you know, that's the best errand I can do. But, I, you know, and then um, also uh, present in a way, because we have family now. Yeah. So we have to, um, uh, be conscious of how long we're going to be out on the road and uh, all that stuff, you know. And we, we get to call the shots. Right. The first show we do is, like, the best thing that we, we we have control of. Like, we went to Iceland to do stuff. We went to Toulouse, you know, because we have to practice because we're all in different areas. Right. So that is, uh, you know, we get to call, you know, we get to... Um, Say we're 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 gonna practice. We're we're all gonna reconvene and um, and uh, learn the songs again. Not learn them, but you know, get get the muscle memory. Get, get, get them, get them yeah, and, and get the production meeting going and all that stuff. The last reunion thing at Coachella here. You did Canada. You did all these crazy things before to kind of like prep. So when you walked in here, as it was described to me by myself, you just walked on stage and said yes. We started this, we own it, and this is why. And you just walked up and just owned the night. <clears throat> Do you remember that that well? Yeah, it was a fun night, I remember. It was just a sea of uh, young and old that were singing along. So just in that in itself, was just in there bopping. And, and, the, and this is 10, 11 years later, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 years, I think. It's 10, ten years. 10 years. 2014. 
but it was, it, it was, it was it stuck with me. It was a it was a surreal experience that. So I've interviewed probably about ten bands back in the house in the last two days, and everybody says Outkast and the Pixies are the bands they want to see. Oh. So I'll, I'll start with you. Anybody in the Bill Joey that you think, oh, I got to go see these guys because I've heard about them. I just want to see if they can pull it off live, that kind of stuff. Anybody at all? Or? God, I got to look at the roster. Seriously, I'm kind of like a, a, oblivious. I wouldn't mind seeing Outkast, but uh, and uh, I can't think of any other bands really. Bri Brian Ferry was uh, he here. Missed that. Next week. Next oh, week, Saturday. That's true. Are I keep playing? forgetting we're gonna do yeah, the next. Are you playing week, anywhere yeah. next Friday night? Friday night. Yeah, I don't know if we're, we're gonna be here. No, you're gonna be back here. It's a day off, so you could go see Brian Ferry tomorrow. I mean, uh, next Friday. Next Friday. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Brian Ferry, yeah. yeah. Go see Brian Ferry. I'll go see Brian Ferry. I've seen Brian Ferry a couple of times. So I, I don't replacements are doing another gig next week. Yesterday, a little bit dodgy. The first half of the set was like we're rehearsing. That sounds like the replacements. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but that's what you could pay to go see back in the day. You wanted to pay to see them fall apart. But yeah. The last four songs, they killed it. So, Outcast, Brian Ferry, David Who? Uh, I've seen Queens of the Stone Age before, but I like their work. I think and their whole. I'd like to see them. So. Right. I would. I would like to see Pet Shop Boys actually. Nice. Yeah, I like Pet Shop Boys. Good, great, great songwriters. Yeah. When you think about it. Yeah. No, they write. They know how to write a toe tapper. Those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the thing here. Let me see. Joey's gonna look at his thing. I'll ask you: We're gonna do any more magic shows in the future? Or are we done with that? Uh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. It's not not gone away. But um, yeah, my science show, or just I'm always doing magic, always backstage or something. Right. At least I'll do that. But that's good. That's on the burner. So. Right. And I, you know, I, I do like Mogwai for their cinematic value. You know, so it's perfect. Yeah. All right. If there's anybody you could work with in the, in the near future, who would it be? If you could go in the studio, anybody. <laughs> you mean guys like a producer? Anybody. Just to, to hang out with us, a guest, guest Wilson. violinist. Yeah, it's always Brian Wilson, I know, in a way, but who else? Anybody else? I mean, well, uh, let me see. Um, Brian Wilson. Yeah, Brian Wilson. Yeah, Brian Wilson. There's a good coincidence here. I met Skrillex, and, you know, and I want to, like, diversify. Remember when I met him? And uh, we, he, he was sitting in the same cabin. I would like to work with that guy, just to because it's totally out of my comfort zone. Right. So uh, he's in the anybody? It's a tough one. Oh my gosh. It is. Tom Brady of the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe uh, Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Did you get the introduction yet? Have you met him? Oh yeah, yeah. We okay. we know him. Yeah. Perfect, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Charles, yeah. Nice to see you, much. Mike. Thanks, mate. Good to see you. Pleasure. Too. All right, Oliver. Wonderful. Yeah, right, yeah. See you guys later. 91X.